Hey everybody, it's Kevin Flying Spy Productions here doing the Carrier Easter Egg, and I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded a video, but that's because a lot's been going on in my life lately, but uh, we should be good now, and we're here, so let's get this thing started. Uh, this was pretty difficult, but we got it done, and it took took a minute, but uh, let's, let's go. Let's do this. Okay, the first step is finding the secret power switch in the cargo area where the security little bot is. You throw a teleport grenade in there, and you uh, hit the power station in there, and you're going to get teleported out. And uh, this is the easiest step. So uh, get ready for the rest. All right, part two is the weapons disposal machine. It's where you have to turn in weapons to that hand that's coming out of this machine. You can use box weapons. Um, we use wall weapons as well. And you got to get three parts to the fishing pole. And uh, this really d depends on how lucky you are with it. But uh, after this, you can do the grenade disposal. All right, part three, or step three, is the grenade disposal machine. Now, this uh, gets difficult the more you do it so obviously as you can see on the screen you need to hit all these in a row and uh the first to start it for this you have to throw in a teleport grenade and it's easier if you do it like in parts so if you try to do this all in one round you're not gonna be able to do it because it gets too difficult but so basically you know you just want to wait till you have the shot perfectly lined up and then match up the grenade in the correct order and then uh, you'll start to light up the lights on the right side green and you have to do um, it three different times obviously it gets harder as it goes on so as you can see row three is huge and uh, it'll continue though like it doesn't reset per round so you have plenty of time to do this and if you're having like a really tough time with like the way that it's that's like the game's going if you start the round it resets it so it gets easier after all the lights light up, a little data pack will pop out of the wall next to the machine. You're going to go run and take it to the vault with the, there's going to be red lights on the right side of it and you're going to put this one in. When you put it in, one of the lights is going to light up and that's going to continue to do that as we collect these tablets, which is now what we're doing in all the steps. So then after Oz gets done talking, you will move on to step four. Since you're hallucinating, allow the good eyes to narrow. Captain's Log, Day 10. This voyage of the damned has made everyone fucking crazy. I hear whispers of mutiny. I've taken precautions so that no one will have access. I then hid the codes where no one can find them. Really? No one? Gotta reload. Captain's Log, Day 11. I was confronted today by some of my senior staff. They demanded the access codes. I reminded them who was in charge. Alright, step four is the drunk maze. Now, when you turn in weapons, you're eventually going to get this bottle. You're going to get this pretty early on. It's not hard to get at all. I've gotten it like our third weapon without getting a part for the actual fishing pole. But you're going to get drunk off of this. Go hit this keypad. Make sure all the players who are not doing this, which obviously only one of us can do it, are in the bio lab because it's out of the maze area. And you're going to just follow this path. This isn't that difficult once you kind of get the hang of drunk jumping and um, really learning it. it. It's a lot. It looks way more complicated than it really is. Because after the cargo section, it's super, super easy. And, uh, yeah, I didn't have this door open, so I thought we were going to not be able to do it, but we got through it and you're gonna go through here lift area and we're gonna go down to moon pool and again they make this look way more complicated than it has to be but eventually we're gonna get to that teleporter in the hangar spawn and there's gonna be a tablet in front of it and you're gonna pick up the tablet and you're gonna teleport and then you won't be drunk anymore on the other side we come out of the other side anyway and then we're gonna put it in the vault and we're going to get a quote from Oz. And I'm going to let this play so you guys can see the maze, obviously. But, like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. Or no, it's not. It's a very simple step. And turn left here. We're going to open this hangar door. And jump over these boxes. And there's the tablet. And we're going to teleport. And then, hopefully, here's... Um, Oz's quote. I'm gonna have to run back 
to the vault. And then I will move on to step five. Shit, I gotta read another one of these. Okay. Captain's log, day 12. The crew tried a different tack today. All right, step five, my favorite step. This is how we get to Oz's Island. So you're going to kill teleporting zombies, and then you're going to get these little pieces which look like teleport grenades. Uh, when you kill them, you got to get 20 of them and slowly but surely put them into the teleporter that doesn't work. That's under the biolab bridge thing. And you're going to put it in there, and eventually it will light up blue, and then you can use it. So we're going to use it right now, and we're going to go to this bitchin' ass island, and you're gonna have to have a player get a shovel before you guys actually come here, and we're digging around. Um, only I think only one player can get a shovel. Um, we dug it up before, we didn't realize we had it, and then uh, it comes up in this box, and it's not that hard to find, so pick it up. You get 2,000 credits, whoever picks it up. We might both, actually. I didn't actually check on that, but... And then we're going to take it back to the vault. Now, this next part, unfortunately, I lost my footage, so... All of this shit step is all from, from here on out, is all from NGT. Uh, I'm going to thank those guys. They did not give me permission, but I'll shout them out anyway because I lost footage, but I wanted to have this done for you guys, and I did not feel like doing it again, so I apologize. But here it is, high-quality footage from NGT. I will still talk over it, so th at least I'm not that lazy. All right, so you're going to be in the map, and these treasure drones are going to drop this little lever. And when they drop this lever, it'll float wherever it is. And you have to pick it up because it's going to be used for this power box that's where in Moonpool. And eventually what we're going to do is uh, cut the eye of a shark out to use for the retina scanner uh, for Captain DJ's locker, which will um, in turn have another the final tablet in it so we're gonna run there right now and uh, I, I real I just remember that this isn't gonna have any sound <laughs> okay all right so here we go we're gonna put it right in the power box and now we are going to go about cutting the sharks eyes out now you're gonna have a player go in the cage when you see the shark here you have got to kill zombies around this area and uh, this okay so before we kill the shark we have to get the fish from the fishing pole and that'll take you a couple tries obviously but it's not that bad because it's not that expensive and we're gonna go back to moon pool and we're going to get that shark. We're going to show him what's up. So, below you can kind of see a shark um, coming around. And the w way to get him to come around is to kill zombies right here. And you'll be able to see the shark in a second here. But uh, what's going to happen is we're going to be able to throw the switch and get in to um, a little diving uh, cage. And then we can kill the shark which pretty says you can see the zombie blood is going through and the shark should show up soon and again thank ngt uh for this footage see now you can see the shark so now we're gonna throw the switch and here's the cage all right so we're gonna get in here and we're gonna Cut the shit out of this shark. That's what we're going to do. So it's going to come up. It's going to start biting the cage right here. And uh, just wait. Playing the waiting game now. Here he comes. There he is. So we're going to cut his eye out. We're going to slice and dice. And we got the eye. We got the eye, guys. We got it. And now we're going to take this to Captain DJ's locker. And then we're going to get the final tablet and put it in the vault. So, I'm going to show you guys the end cutscene. So, like, comment, subscribe. Kevin Flying Smart Productions. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I'm sorry that I couldn't get the end of this video. But thank you, NGT, for letting me use their footage. They did not give me permission. But I hope they won't sue me. And I'm not obviously not going to make any uh, 
monies off this video. So that sucks. But I want you guys to have, you know, something to refer to because I know you guys kind of look forward to the Easter eggs. And again, I apologize. Couldn't get the footage. It died. It sucks. It's awful. Anyway, after you get that final data pack or tablet into the vault, you're going to have to get a C4 from the weapons disposal guy. So that'll take you a little bit. It's not, it's really not that uh, hard to do. I don't have the footage, obviously, so I'm just it's explaining it now because it's really not worth it to show you it. I mean, like, you just get a C4 from him and then you put it into the vault and you end the game. And here's the cutscene. The ship's about to become one big tax write-off. <laughs> Who pays taxes? Hey, no one gives a fuck, okay? We got two minutes before we're all guzzling seawater. Move! There! <laughs> Lilith, what are you doing? Oz? Are you kidding me? Oz is dead. That asshole shot him. It's just another stupid zombie. Let's just go already. Come on, people. We don't have time for this. Shit.